Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. To in our channel, today's subject is uh, Engineering Mechanics. This Engineering Mechanics is for the upcoming semester examination for the branch uh, Tripari, Electrical and Electronics Engineering. We are having R18 question paper. So today's class, uh, the main motto of preparing today's class is many of the students are not uh, understanding the question properly and they are not giving the correct exact answer for the given question so in this class we'll discuss for how to read the question how to understand the question based on the given diagram okay so let us uh, start today's class see this is a previous year's question paper and this is not your uh, format of your question paper you are getting for the up for the upcoming semester for upcoming semester you are going to get uh, eight direct questions okay from the eight questions you are going to write five just for the sake of understanding we are going to discuss uh, this question paper okay now we'll start discussing this question see in this part here you can see state and explain polygon law of forces differentiate between static and dynamic friction define moment of inertia define potential energy what do you understand by kinetics of rigid body two forces act on a particle one is doubled and uh, other is increased by 20 newtons find the later force if the direction of the resultant remains unaltered, explain the implications of center of gravity, state and explain the importance of radius of gradation, explain the basic nature of constant motion, explain the importance of instantaneous center of rotation. Okay, so we will go for the essay question. See, this is the question. I will read it. Uh, a 500 Newton cylinder, 1 meter in diameter is loaded between the cross pieces AE and BD which makes an angle of 60 degrees with each other and are pinned at the C as shown in figure determine the tension in the horizontal rope DE assuming that the cross pieces rest on a smooth floor okay so these are the see you can see the diagram now we will see how to understand this diagram these are the two cross pieces okay uh, resting on the floor and this is the 500 newtons okay cylinder and uh, these we have to what we have to find out here is de okay determine the tension in the rope de assuming that the cross pieces rest on a smooth floor okay like that you have to understand the question next question is an electric uh, see next question is an electric light fixture weighing 20 newtons hangs from a point c by two strings ac and bc ac is inclined in 60 degrees to the horizontal and bc is 45 degrees to the vertical end C is attached to the roof and uh, end B is attached to the wall using Lamy's theorem or otherwise determine the forces in the strings AC and BC okay next we will move to the next question two cylinders A and B of uh, weight uh, 1000 newtons and 500 newton rest on smooth inclined planes as shown in figure a bar of negligible weight is hinged to each other cylinder at its uh, geometric center by smooth pins determine the forces p as applied can hold the system in equilibrium for given position okay so this is the given position okay so this is uh, two cylinders first cylinder a second cylinder b what we have to calculate here is determine the force p this is the force of p we have to determine as applied can hold the system in equilibrium for given position okay next question ABCD is a rectangle in which AB is equal to CD is equal to 100 mm and BC equal to DA is equal to 880 mm. Forces of 100 newtons each act along AB and CD. Forces of 50 newton act e, uh, 50 newton each act along BC and DA. Find the resultant moment of two, two couples. Next, find the centroid of the plane co composite lamina shown in the figure. All dimensions are mm. So as you can see this is the diagram for the given diagram find the centroid of the plane composite lamina shown in the figure all dimensions are in mm. So this is the second, third, fourth and this is the fifth and as per the dimensions we have to calculate the centroid. Next question is from the first principles find the center of gravity of a cube of side 20 mm. Okay. Now we will continue. Right. This is the question. Determine the determine by direct integration the coordinates of the uh, centroid of the area formed by the intersection of a straight line and the curve y is equal to k x square. So y is equal to k x square. Uh, next question. A screw jock uh, has 
square threads of mean diameter 70 mm and uh, feet 10 mm if the coefficient of friction between screw and nut is 0.1 to determine force to be applied at 400 mm radius to jock to lift 500 newton load check the self locking of the jock next the state and proof parallel axis theorem determine the mass moment of inertia of a steel pipe with uh, 90 mm outside diameter and uh, 72.5 mm inside diameter and 3 meter long with respect to its longitudinal axis the density of steel is 7830 kg per meter cube okay next question a flywheel shown in figure is made of steel having density 7830 kg per meter cube what is the moment of inertia about its geometric axis what is the radius of gyration okay so this is the view of this uh, flywheel so given flywheel you have to understand the diagram properly right so this is the rim of the flywheel and this is the spoke of the flywheel all parameters are given for this diagram right so density is also given so we have to find out radius of gyration and moment of inertia what is geometric axis next from the first principle find the moment of inertia of a circular power plate of radius r about its diameter axis okay next we will continue see here two smooth balls of masses 4 kg and 7 kg are lying on a straight smooth track the distance between the balls is 35 meters the balls start to move in the same direction and just before collision their velocities are 10 meter per second 6 meter per second respectively determine the distance and time when collision will take place the velocity of each ball after collision if uh, coefficient of restitution is 0 0.6 a mig 27 fighter plate flying at a height of 90 uh, height of 900 uh, meter with uniform horizontal velocity of 750 km per hour releases a bomb which hits a target on the ground determine the time taken by the bomb to reach the target the horizontal distance of the plane from the target when the bomb was released and the direction and the velocity with which the bomb hits the target neglect the air resistance okay this type of questions we may get in your exam a cricket player takes takes a catch of a ball falling vertically under gravity from a height of 40 meters if the mass of the ball is 163 grams determine the impulse force and average force borne by the player if he holds and stops the ball in 0 0.6 seconds a bullet has a target at a particular point p which is located along the horizontal ground from the point of projection of the bullet it was found that when the angle of projection is 20 degrees it falls 12 meters short for the target and it overshoots by 25 meter when the angle of projection is 35 degrees find out the correct angle of projection of the bullet if it hits the target without change of initial projection velocity next question a man weighing 600 a man weighing 600 newtons stands on the floor of a lift determine the force exerted on the floor when the lift moves upward with an acceleration is of 1.3 meter per second square and the lift moves downward with an acceleration of 1.3 meter per second square if a 700 newton force is being exerted on the floor with what acceleration is the lift moving solve the problem using d alembert's principle next question a bullet of 75 gram uh, mass Fired with a speed of uh, 350 meter per second penetrates to a depth of 12 centimeter into a block of uh, wood. Find the force of resistance of the block, assuming to it to be the uniform throughout. If the same bullet with the same speed were fired, it, it fired into a similar block of 5 centimeter thick wood, with what speed would it emerge from the block? Next question: two blocks A and B weighing. 500 newtons and 400 newtons respectively are connected to the two ends of a cord which passes over a pulley neglecting inertia of the pulley and assuming that the cord is uh, inextensible find the acceleration of the block a how much weight should be added to or removed from the block a the acceleration of the block is required to be g by 3 downwards an engine of 90 kilo newton weight can draw a locomotive of 350 kilo newtons on a level track with a speed of 35 km per hour, the tractive force is 20 Newton per kN weight of the train. Find the power developed by the engine. If the same train is moving with the same speed of 
and inclined plane of 1 in 40 and the friction of the train is 10 newton per kilo newton find the weight of the train carried by the engine if the engine is developing the same power okay so that's all friends so i think uh, you can understand uh, all these questions properly okay so these are the main motto of preparing this uh, question paper is you can understand how you can get the questions and uh, how you can give the solution for this engineering mechanics okay so if you are having any doubts please post in the comments box i will give you a reply okay so if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel please like and share our channel okay thank you very much thank you for watching